Hey there, Virgo. Welcome to your reading for uh, the middle of April 2022. Uh, we're going to jump right in here, uh, Virgo, and we are going to see what is going on for you at this time. Uh, sorry, this is my microphone, by the way, if you're wondering what that is. Um, I don't really know how it happened, but I think I bumped it and it got shifted over. So I know people are going to ask, what is that black thing on the screen? It is a microphone that is just, it's in the way, right? I noticed it, so I'm sure someone out there is going to notice it. But let's see here, Virgo. Um... You start off with this Neptune card that says a vision on it. And uh, yeah, we have Neptune and Pisces right now until 2025, the end of 2025. And I keep telling people, guess what? You need to have a very clear vision on what you want in your life at this time because um, you know I think if we have a clear vision, then we're going to accomplish whatever it is we want. If we don't, then we're not. <laughs> it's uh, really just that simple. So I feel like your vision... And, and kind of like how you see things going is going to be very important for you. You have the uh, Knight of Swords, the Tower, and the Fool here. Um, you always, you know, you always get the Fool in your readings. The Fool is definitely a new beginning. And if we t kind of look at it actually on the table here, we go Fool, Five of Swords to the Death card. So there's clearly some sort of new beginning coming in for you. Seems to be like a new beginning time. Uh, I've said this before. I'll say it again. I mean, everybody has been getting these cards of having a new beginning or starting something new. And uh, to me, it's just a sign of the times. I mean, <laughs> to me, it is what we are doing. You have the tower. Everybody's been getting the tower for like two weeks now, three weeks. The tower kind of says things have been the same for too long. The tower is falling because these people have built the walls of the tower up around them because they've been ignoring reality. So the tower falls because the universe is like, no, you're ignoring reality. There's a new reality that you need to step into. The tower is coming down. So uh, this is the good news is it's showing up in your past position, by the way. So I feel like you've already experienced multiple multiple tarot, uh, tower moments, tarot tower moments, right? <laughs> uh, over the past few months. Uh, I mean, actually, probably for the past few years. I would say four to five years for you, Virgo, uh, very specifically. And you have the Knight of Swords here. The Knight of Swords basically says, do not rush. You know, it's a card of uh, rushing energy. He's like rushing towards something. So I do feel like some of you need to make sure that you don't like rush something that you could be working on at this time. He's like trying to force this horse to do something. I kind of feel like maybe that's where you made a mistake in the past is by trying to force something to happen. It might not even be you I'm getting. It could be like another person in your life. Maybe they tried to force a relationship with you. Maybe you've had experiences where people have tried to force business with you or anything else. It's kind of weird because I'm getting the word no popping into my head. <laughs> I feel like it's saying you need to say no. Like you need to say no to people who are like trying to push things into your life and all this other stuff. I don't know. Uh, we're going to see where this goes. Uh, next, you have this turtle spirit says slow and steady wins the race. So I feel like, but I, I feel like this is talking about the progress that you've been making for the past few years. I feel like it has been very slow and steady. I feel like it's been very kind of like one foot forward, you know, kind of like making a few steps forward, then probably like four or five steps back. So I kind of get more of that, like one, one step forward, two steps back type of energy here. But I think it kind of, I don't think it's that dramatic. I feel like sometimes you make like 10 steps forward and yeah, maybe two steps back, but you're still like eight steps forward. Then I think there are times where you do take one step forward, two steps back, but it's like, I feel like it kind of evens out. So I feel like it's been very, you know, kind of slow moving like this because there's been a lot of back and forth uh, going on in your life. That's how I see that energy. Uh, you have these Six of Swords, the Five of Swords, and the Three of Pentacles. Six of Swords is a card of moving on to calmer shores. So I feel like you are moving forward. I feel like you're moving on to bigger and better things here, Virgo. You even have the Death card next, which tells me there is a significant transformation coming in for you. I feel like you are getting to the other side, so to speak, here. You have the Five of Swords. I do feel the Five of Swords is encouraging you to take a risk. Sometimes, um, you know, just I have certain cards that I consider clue cards and the five of swords to me is a card of a risk taking or taking a risk. To me, it can, you know, this is like a calculated risk. It's something you've been planning for a while. And we really see this right here, right? <laughs> the fool taking a risk, taking a leap of faith, five of swords taking a risk, death 
is saying this is going to lead to a transformation. So I really feel that diagonal is saying take a risk because you're going to be successful. You have the three of pentacles as well. This is really telling me that if you're taking a risk that you have taken in the past, I feel like there are people who will help you. You know, I feel like there are people who want to guide you, who want you to be successful. And I feel like this is like help or assistance that you didn't have in the past. I'm noticing that you basically have three horses showing up in your reading. You have the horse on the Knight of Swords, horse on the Death card, then you literally have the horse card at the end. And horses in the tarot represent assistance or help, you know, some something that could help you get ahead. And so I feel like there's help coming. I, I, it's kind of weird because Three of Pentacles doesn't really represent that. Three of Pentacles is a card of quality work. It's a card of teamwork and collaboration, right? And I do feel teamwork and collaboration would be extremely beneficial for you, you know, especially for those of you that are working towards a goal. But I really kind of feel this is like assistance or help that is coming in for you. Uh, next, you have this uh, career card and you have this horse card. It says a short journey on it. So I feel for some of you, you could be traveling for work or business or career. I also feel like you're getting assistance with that horse card, like I said. So there could be a lot of assistance coming from you know people in your life or people that you know. Uh, in your last row here, you have the death card, the ace of swords, and the three of swords. Uh, death card is definitely talking about a significant change coming in for you. I'm getting the word culture shock as well popping into my head. So I'm wondering if some of you are traveling to another country or doing something uh, different that you've never done before. Uh, for whatever reason, that's popping into my head. Uh, you also have the Ace of Swords, which is a victory. So I do feel there is a victory coming in for you. It's interesting that it's over the Three of Swords. I do feel like you are experiencing a victory over the Three of Swords. Three of Swords could be a heartbreak or a separation or sadness, especially with the Five of Swords. You know, this, this right here, uh, going in this direction, this is a very challenging energy. Knight of Swords, Five of Swords, Three of Swords. That would be, um, you know, not not so great. <laughs> right? It's like, that is like forgiveness or needing to forgive a situation. It's you know, energy of separation. Um, but it could also be a, like a rushed decision or someone running away, like that type of vibe. So I am kind of getting that for you here in your reading that uh, someone could have like run away from you. I want to get more details on the reading in general. As always, I'll be nosy for you. We'll, we'll pull this card. You have this uh, fourth house card. It says home on it. So some of you might be wanting to spend more time at home, obviously. You have the Page of Swords mm, asking why. Uh, for those of you that have been hurt recently or who have gone through a heartbreak, you could be asking why something is happening. I'm noticing all the Swords energy here in your reading. Nine of Swords, Six of Swords, Five of Swords, Ace of Swords, Three of Swords, Page of Swords. You know, um, very much, very swords dominated energy here. It's like things could be a little bit too logical, I feel, as well. So if you're like... Um, if you're trying to logic something in your life, I feel like you need to go the other direction. Trust me, I'm a big fan of logic, right? And using logic, not necessarily only intuition um, or only something else, your emotions or whatever. I think we need to be logical, of course. We are, you know, I like to remind people that we are, you know, that tarot is spiritual, right? But we are here to have a human experience. We're not necessarily here to have a spiritual experience. We spend plenty of time in spirit, right, on the other side. So we, we get plenty of spiritual experience uh, in general. You know, I believe that we're basically eternal spiritual beings. So like I said, we get plenty of time on the other side. Um, so sometimes I feel like we need we do need to be more logical, right? But I kind of feel like this reading is um, the opposite. Uh, <laughs> there's almost too much logic going on here, right? Um, you have the, well, I just threw it. It was the five of wands. Uh, we'll pull another card as well in the sun. Five of Wands is a card of conflict and competition against halfway across the room right now. Um, so the Five of Wands represents conflict competition. I call that card Indiana Jones because to me, it can represent going on some sort of crazy adventure, crazy journey. You have that horse card that says short journey on it. I feel like some of you could be going on a long journey, like I said, and uh, you're going on a journey to find some gold, to find some treasure. And, you know, again, I always call it Indiana Jones because it can represent going through some obstacles to be able to find your treasure, going through some challenges to get what you want. You also have the sun. And the sun, I feel like, is asking you to dig deep. You know, that's really what I'm getting here with the sun and actually the entire reading. 
I feel like the entire reading is asking you to dig deep down in inside of you and to figure out like what do you really want in your life? What do you really want to create or have? What you know, what what did you want when you were a child? You know, this child here represents your inner child on the sun card and the wall behind it represents the wall that we all build up against our inner child. We all, you know, get to a certain age and we feel like there are certain things we can't do because they're just childhood dreams, you know, and all this other stuff. But I feel like you need to dig deep. Also, another horse on the sun card. And uh, you have the judgment card. Look at this. See, for some of you, again, another card of digging deep, another card of really answering your inner voice, your inner calling, they're being called out of these coffins into their new life. They're being called into to do something new, to do something different, but they have to step out of the coffin. The coffins, you know, the coffin itself represents their old life. It basically, you know, represents the life they have been living up until this point. And I feel for a lot of you, and I've been feeling the same thing for you for a long time, Virgo, like I, I would say that uh, maybe your life has been too much the same for a long time. Tower um, card, you know, to me, it just represents life being too much the same all the time. And the judgment card is like saying there's something much more childlike, much more exciting, much more fun, like outside of the coffin. So I feel like some of you have to make a change. For some of you, I literally feel like you're leaving an area, right? Uh, for others, I feel like the change could just be inviting more fun into your life, inviting more adventure, doing things differently. And, um, you know, I feel like all those things would be very beneficial. With all the swords energy as well, I would say like questioning rules would be um, a good thing. And I'm not talking about like laws or breaking the law here. Someone always takes it there, right? And that's not what I'm talking about. But what I'm talking about is like, I feel like there are certain rules that we all, that everybody puts on themselves, right? And they're different for everyone because we're all raised differently. But I feel like we all have our own little like rules that we put on ourselves. And I feel like this is saying, if there are any rules that you follow that like nobody else does, <laughs> or you know maybe you just want to see what's outside of the rule or whatever, uh, I feel like it would be a good time to like you know break those rules uh, and just you know see what 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 could be different you know in life and uh, I get like a need to kind of more experiment very logical energy. It's reminding me, you know, this reading is reminding me of a Steve Jobs quote. It's popping into my head. the The words are on the tip of my tongue, right? But uh, I don't remember exactly what he says, but he basically says, you know, that in life we are taught that we have to like follow all these rules, but like when you poke something, you know, something pops out the other side. And he's talking in, in this speech that I'm referring to, um, he's talking about, it's an old one too. He has a beard. I can see it in my head right now. I'll try to remember to post it up down below, but he's basically talking about breaking the rules, right? Being a rule breaker. Mm, I feel like you need a little bit of that in your life here. Um, with this energy. Uh, who knows what you will discover? We will find out in part two, which is linked up in the description down below.